हेलो एवरीवन लेट्स स्टार्ट द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक फ्रॉम द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ थेरी ऑफ मशीन टू दैट इज कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ कॉन्जुगेट टूथ प्रोफाइल सो बिफोर वी स्टार्ट हाउ टू कंस्ट्रक्ट द कॉन्जुगेट टूथ प्रोफाइल लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट व्हाट इज कॉन्जुगेट प्रोफाइल रोटरी मोशन इज प्रोड्यूस व्हेन टू गियर्स आर मेश विद ईच अदर एंड वन गियर दैट इज ड्राइवर ट्रांसमिट पावर टू द ड्रिवन गियर दिस टूथ प्रोफाइल इज डिजाइन इन अ सच वे दैट constant angular velocity ratio is maintained while while meshing so when gear maintain a constant angular velocity ratio at particular instant then such gear pair is known as or said to be a conjugate gears and have a conjugate profile now let's start the construction of conjugate profile so here i have drawn a center line and consider a center o1 for gear 1 let us say gear 1 has 60 mm peak circle diameter so we'll take that and let's draw a peak circle diameter for gear 1 and similarly let's say gear 2 peak circle diameter is 80 so from here we'll just mark the distance equal to 80 mm and mark a point o2 because they both gear are in meshing so peak circle is tangent to each other so we'll draw in this way okay now let's construct an arbitrary tooth profile on gear 1 so here i have constructed this kind of arbitrary tooth profile which cut at peak circle let us say this point is b then that let us say this bottom point is a and this point is c now draw the tangent from each point a b c and then draw the perpendicular through that tangent so just draw the perpendicular from point c firstly we will draw the tangent at point c to this curve and then we'll plot the perpendicular from this point c which is cut the peak circle at let us say point p3 similarly the tangent and perpendicular at point p which is cut the peak circle at same point so here we just give the name p2 similarly let's draw the tangent at point a and then draw the perpendicular from that particular tangent so again which is cut to the peak circle let us say at point p1 now let's draw the circle passing from point a which is the dedendum circle of this tooth profile and let's draw the circle passing from point c which is the addendum circle of gear 1 let us say omega is the angular velocity of gear 1 which is rotated in clockwise direction and omega 2 is angular velocity of gear 2 which is rotated in anti clockwise direction and here where the two circles are meet peak circles are meet to each other that point is peak point p now see when the gear 1 rotated in this way that is in clockwise direction gear 2 started rotated in anti clockwise direction so let's say gear 1 is rotated in clockwise direction this p1 point is reach at point p or after some time the p1 is coincide with the p then p1 is here then that a point is also shift someone here so will marks that shifting distance so that distance is equal to p1 a distance so from p p which is mark point a that is 
moving point A right here and let's give the name M A so we can say that P1 A is equal to P M A ok so let's join these two points by dotted line similarly when this again gear rotated with in clockwise direction this P2 is reaches or coincide with point P and similarly after some time this P3 coincide with P so if P3 coincide with P then that C is again move with this distance so we can able to mark point C over here so right here we'll get point C and just again dot join that point C with P by using of dotted line now let's draw a circle passing from point M A which become addendum circle of gear 2 similarly let's draw a circle passing from point M C which become dedendum circle of gear 2 this point is M C so as we know these two gears are mesh with each other when gear 1 rotated in clockwise direction gear 2 rotated in anti clockwise direction so when gear 1 cover with this arc gear 2 cover with this arc on peach circle so let's mark this particular point P1, P2, P3 on gear 2 so let's take this distance on the arc P1 so here we get point P1 on gear 2 so we'll give the name P1 dash similarly just take this distance and mark point P2 and give the name P2 dash similarly with arc P3 and named as P3 dash ok so as here we are going to draw a conjugate tooth profile so when this gear travels in this direction this gear travels in opposite direction so that we will take this arc and marking over here now just take this distance which is equal to PMA and from point P1 dash mark a point A so here is point A dash so here we take that distance equal to P1 uh, PMA and we just mark point A dash on the addendum of gear 2 ok so we can write over here P1A P1A is equal to PMA which is equal to P1 dash A dash P1 dash A dash dedendum point of gear 1 become addendum point of gear 2 B dash lie on same point so we will just mark B dash right here and now the C dash so let's take this distance equal to P M C and from point P3 we will just mark point C on circle which is passing from point M C so here we get C dash and now just draw the profile with smooth arc or join this three points with smooth arc you will get the conjugate tooth profile of A B C here we get A dash B dash C dash why we mark C dash right here not in this side because when this gear rotated in this direction when P3 dash reaches at point P C is right here so we will mark p3 dash 
from p dash c dash is here and get a conjugate tooth profile i hope you uh, you are clear with the idea how to draw or how to construct the conjugate tooth profile for gears thank you